Morning folks, just had a quick run across to Tool Station and Screw Fix to pick up some uh, fishtail brick ties and well, some varnish and some flash band and some uh, some of this bad boy to repair some of the cracks in that there roof. So this morning, I've been back now, it's approaching half past, half past 11. So this morning we've cracked on again with the brick wall. So you can see we've pretty much got that, that wall blocked up. Gemma's just taken the kids for some breakfast, late breakfast, early lunch, because they're moaning like mad. And Stuart's gone to get me some access equipment because I'm stood on this IBC. I've been stood on the old soup dragon. And then we chucked up this young man's, uh, this odd job there, this hop up. And oh, I feel like a bloody trapeze artist up there. So I said, screw this, because if I come down, there's nothing to hold on to. And all that block work's gonna follow me down. And if I'm out of action, well, ain't nothing getting done, honey. So he's gonna get some scaffold tower from a local hire centre. It's only 15 quid a day, so it's, you know, safety third, as Ollie keeps telling me, safety third. So uh, we are going to get this one out next, and then this one, and hopefully get all three done today, but I don't know, it might be cutting it a bit close. Now, I'm going to have to knock these bricks out. You can see that they've put them on end. So I'm worried that because of that, there's a chance for this to weeble wobble back and forth a little bit. So we'll take the blocks out back to where it should be originally, and we'll take the window out literally the state of this glass i had to do this i couldn't wait for the landlord to do it the wire in the georgian wire glass has actually rusted away so we took the took the polycarb off the windows and we effectively just had the pieces of glass falling out on us no putty on the other side it's a real liability that so brick them up we're safe in terms of glass falling out and we're secure in terms of little thieving bastards. Because if they want to get in, they'll have to smash the way in through the roof. It's probably easy enough anyway. Said it went all right. Oh, 
1995. Timber. So if we fit it where it is now, you've got all that space up to, yeah, same size as that frame. Oh no, it'll have to come down to that. 1950. I'd probably come a bit more because I reckon we could clean this block off. I think for that's a chisel there, Dave. 1950, yeah. Well, it was lovely and tidy in here, but now it is a little bit... Well, it's not too bad. I've only cut a couple of pieces of timber. The good thing about today is we finally got that last, that first section blocked up last. Am I on about? Yes, this wall blocked right up to the top. Looks all right, doesn't it? I'm pretty chuffed. I'm getting better at bricklaying, I tell you. I've only been doing it uh, 20 years. No, I haven't really, just 10. Up and about. Uh, yeah, anyway, you just saw Dave come in. We've decided that I'm not going to put the, the, the rest of these blocks in that window hole because I'm going to have to double block it. I've single blocked all that and I don't like it. Uh, it worries me a little bit. I know it's safe. I've tied it into the sides with fishtail brick ties. Ain't going to move anywhere. That's what I went across to screw fix to collect, you see all the safety gear to make sure it's safe but what I'm going to do is use the rest of these blocks that we've got here and we're going to nip through that window I've actually been into the gardens on the other side there's no mess yet we're going to nip through the window anyway and we're going to put another course on the outside because I don't want rain and everything getting between the nine inch wall so we'll use these blocks to put another course on that particular window and it gives me a nice uh, a nice big canvas to paint some brewery logos and the such like on there and then on this section Dave's measured up for windows and we're going to put some windows in you know if, you, if you're going to fit a window it's got to be a Dixon window so that's uh, that's what we're going to do I've never bought any windows off Dave yet he's bought plenty of beers from me so I guess it's time time for a bit of payback and yeah the same with this one what we're going to do is knock these bricks out you can see that they're standing on end look look at the thickness of them to them so they've done that because the frame down the edge of the window the frame is protruding too far into the building to get a course of bricks up there laid down horizontally so they've stood them vertically on the sides. No good. So we're going to knock that down and then on the other side take all this polycarbonate off and we're going to fit some nice big windows in there. So hopefully that will bring a lot of light into the building as well and allow, allow the whole thing to look a little bit tidier basically. And it's cheaper. It works out cheaper than the blocks to put a couple of big windows in there, so, you know, I may as well do it. Anyway, I'm rambling. Gemma's working tonight. It's quiz night. She loves to do the quiz. And I'm going to have the children. So I'm about to jump into the car and put together this little short vlog that we've got today. Not too much in it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow where I will be varnishing, I believe. We'll be varnishing these tanks. I've just done a test patch. You see the colour? You can't really, oh you can. See the colour difference between that one and that one? I'm not gonna touch it. So we're gonna varnish these. It's basically clear varnish. And also get up there on the scaffolding now we've got it in. And we're gonna repair all the leaks in the roofs. All the leaks in the roof with Flexacryl, instant repair for roofs. Horrible stuff. We'll see you tomorrow for that. What a peculiar place to have a party.